Hi, my name is Kamaya Poite, a 7th grade student at the Life for Key International School. The Bahamas today enjoys a growing economy, especially when compared to other Caribbean nations in the region. We enjoy a great financial market with increasing investments and increasing exports and tourism services and financial services. However, even considering this, many financial experts, businesses, and investors say that we can expand our economy even more by allowing the free flow of foreign trade, investments, and capital without restrictions or regulations like many other thriving economies. For example, allowing Bahamians to invest and trade on the U.S. stock market or allowing foreign banks to invest in Bahamian currency. These other countries like for example the UK, no longer have something called foreign exchange control. But the Bahamas does. So then, many ask our topic question. Are foreign exchange controls still relevant in the Bahamas? I say yes. I believe that foreign exchange controls are still relevant in the Bahamas, and here's why. First, what is foreign exchange controls, and where did they come from? Foreign exchange controls are a set of rules, regulations, and procedures which govern all foreign currency transactions between residents of the Bahamas and non-residents. The legal framework is in the Exchange Control Act and the Exchange Control Regulations. It's been around since the Sterling era, a time when British-ruled countries all pooled their gold and foreign reserves to protect them and spend only on the best interest of those countries. Why are foreign exchange controls relevant? Here are three reasons. Reason one, foreign exchange control allows the government to maintain a fixed rate parity of the Bahamian dollar with the US dollar. That means one Bahamian dollar is the same value as one US dollar. This strengthens the value and stability of the Bahamian dollar. This prevents the devaluation of the Bahamian dollar, which can cause foreign trade to become more expensive. An example of a country whose economy has suffered from dollar devaluation is Jamaica. With no foreign exchange control to protect its value, the Jamaican dollar has been grossly devalued such that one US dollar is worth a whopping 153 Jamaican dollars. Reason two. Foreign exchange controls help to preserve our country's foreign reserves and places priority on balance of payments. This means that the government ensures that we can pay our international debt and stabilize our local currency whenever it is needed. This also helps to prevent the risk of a currency crisis, which is when a country is unable to pay its international debt. Reason 3. The use of foreign exchange controls have enabled our economy to remain primarily stable through a worldwide pandemic that was COVID-19, whereas many of the world's economies suffered great losses and financial crisis as a result of having to deplete their foreign reserves in order to support their economies. The Bahamas, however, was able to maintain its parity with the US dollar and was able to maintain a high level of foreign reserves. So you see, although in the future the Bahamas may consider relaxing or eliminating exchange controls, at this stage in our country's economic development, we still need to build stronger financial reforms to ensure stability without exchange controls present. And considering what we've been through over the past few years, aren't you glad that we have them? I am! Thanks for watching!